lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one of my favourites to do, as you know, and it is a pound band haul. Last pound band haul was mostly kind of Halloween related, kind of like party stuff, decorations, all that kind of jazz. But today I popped in and I thought, will I film it, will I not? And I thought, why not? There's some stuff in here that I've not seen before in there, so I thought I would just share it with you. And let's just get started. Right. First of all, I'm going to crack on with usual kind of toiletry stuff. So, the first thing I picked up when I went in was this and it is the Alberto Balsam Coconut and Lychee Conditioner and also the shampoo. And I'd like to just get white shampoo and conditioner to put in my shampoo, conditioner and body wash dispenser in the bathroom. I like it all to kind of tie in with the tones of our bathroom so I always like to go for white. I probably won't use this shampoo just because this is kind of like communal shampoo. I tend to get this kind of stuff for Fraser and I use a different one for my own hair but I keep that in a drawer. But yeah, I like to have white shampoo and conditioner in the dispenser. If you want to check out that dispenser, I will link it for you in my description box because a few of you have went and bought it and said that you love it. So I'm gonna link that for you. But yeah, got these both and they smell amazing. And because I've kind of gone for that coconutty smell, I thought I would also pick up a shower gel. And this one is the Vanilla Macadamia Cocoon Bath and Shower Body Gel. And it literally smells exactly like a coconut macaroon or macaron i'm never sure how to say that word but yeah i got this and i thought the packaging was so gorgeous and i thought this is a big massive bottle as well it's like how many ml is this 500 ml really good so i'm going to fill that up in my little dispenser as well and they're all similar colors because i'm a bit ocd like that but yeah that smells amazing and i'll definitely be using that this is a bit of a random thing but my favorite deodorant is always the Nivea powder touch one. I either get this one or the black and white one but I got this one and I feel like if I pay any more than a pound for deodorant then I'm getting absolutely ripped off because I know I can pick this up in Poundland so I got that. And then for Fraser I picked up Right Guard Extreme because again he's really fussy with which deodorant he uses and that's the one he likes so I got that for him. And the last kind of household item is this Glade Soft Cotton Air Freshener because I got it last time, really loved it and thought I need to repurchase that. It's just a nice clean scent because I've got so many candles going on at the moment that it's actually nice just to have quite a neutral scent of air freshener when I'm finished cleaning. So yeah, really love that. It's not overpowering and I think that is just gorgeous. On to stuff for the kiddos now. I'm basically working this the way that my local Poundland works because I kind of go toiletries, household stuff, then kids stuff. So I've seen these and they are the Hip Organic Rice Pudding with Apple and Pear and the reason why I picked these up is because the jars are really big. Sometimes I find that the jars of like kind of purees and stuff for Charlie are actually too small for him because he's so greedy. So I thought these were good, they're really quite big in comparison to the other size. So I thought they would be a nice little kind of lunchtime snack or after dinner pudding. And they say they're from 7 months plus so I got two of these just to have in the cupboard. And these are a bit of an oldie but a goodie but I picked up some Farley's Rusks because I've never had these before. And I thought, Do you know what, I might just try them and see what they're like. My kids are very snacky. So I think that they will actually quite enjoy these and they're easy to pop in the changing bag as well so I got some Farley's Rusks. And then for Ella because she keeps falling over and bumping and bashing herself I got some unicorn plasters because I realised we don't have plasters at home so these little unicorn ones are nice plus she really loves unicorns in general so they've got like little rainbows, they're small ones, 25 small ones and 50 large ones which I thought was quite good to have 75 in a pack. So yeah, really love them and I think she will as well, but hopefully she doesn't have to use them. We can maybe just use them if we're playing doctors. If you're a mum of girls, then Poundland's bow game is so strong at the minute. I got this one because it's so hard to get a peachy coloured bow like that. Plus they go missing all the time, so I don't really miss them too much if I've only paid a pound for them. So there are these bows that are on the big huge clips at the back. I love this one with the little rhinestones, I thought that was really pretty and she's got so many items of clothing that are that specific colour, so I picked up this one. And then because she always wears kind of light colours like creams and whites, and white goes with everything anyway, I picked up this lovely white one, which is a different shape from the usual that she goes for. <laughs> that she goes for, she doesn't pick them, I pick them, but it's the different from the usual ones that I go for. I thought that was really nice, it's a bigger one, plus it would also be nice for dancing as well. And I've always wanted one of these but my mum's got one and it is a cuticle pusher backer, don't even know what you call it, cuticle pusher and nail file but this little cuticle pusher thing here 
is so good. My mum's got one. It's got a sharp end that's pointed and then a kind of rounded end for pushing back your cuticles. I got this for me but also for the kids because I've noticed Ella's cuticles grow up her nails and then they start splitting and it's really painful for her. So I thought while I'm cutting her nails I could just push them back with that little cuticle pusher and I'm pretty sure my mum paid about seven or eight pounds for hers in salon services but that one was a pound with the nail file with it so I thought that was really good. It's metal, it's sturdy and it's got pink on it as well. It would not be a Poundland haul if I did not get my yoghurt covered cranberries. These are my absolute vice. I got two packs because there's only two packs left and I think they'll have these later watching telly when the kids go to bed. I absolutely love these. I know they're not that good for you but the Cadbury brunch bars are so nice. See if you're having like that need for a chocolate fix at night time. These are so, so good. And also Ella likes them as well. So I got some of these. And since it's Lola's birthday, Lola's my dog. <laughs> since it's her birthday, we got some party stuff. So I've got these little party hats. I think there were 10 in a pack for a pound, which is just amazing. I'll maybe insert a picture of them all wearing them for Lola's birthday picture. And I also got a tassel garland, which is on my fire. And that was also obviously a pound. And it's really good because there's quite a few different tassels on it. You just literally shake it and pin it up. It is so nice. Quite Pinteresty and also really inexpensive. And I also got this 10 pack of confetti balloons. I've left some of them because I didn't need them all, but they are so effective. Again, I will show you them blown up because they're just so good. I can't imagine they'll be too good when you pop them. You might need to do that outside. They'll just be like a confetti bomb everywhere. But yeah, these are so good for a pound. I'm actually going to pick some up for Charlie's birthday, which isn't until February, but it's not really that far away. And if I get lots of these things just now, I could probably do a lot of his decorations in like under £10. And the next few things are very Christmassy, but I thought if I don't get these just now, I'm going to go back in and they'll be gone and I will be gutted. So I got some stuff for the Elf on the shelf. And this here is the Elf swing seat. It looks so cool. I'm actually going to open it up and see what it's like. So we're going to do the Elf on the Shelf this year just because Ella's getting bigger. I think she'll kind of understand it. <gasps> this is so cool. Look at the string. It's like proper Christmassy. So that's like the little seat and then you pull the strings up and have it like a little swing. That is a pound. How good is that? The Elf on the Shelf I think is like 10, 20 pounds, something like that. So to get all these little bits and pieces to go along with it is really good so yeah definitely go and get that just now because they will sell out so quickly and I also got the elf door as well because I thought that one was a really good one it's quite kind of like rustic and just really nice and neutral for in your home I got that for just putting on the skirting board okay so the next thing I got was also for our elf on the shelf and it is this I think it's so good there was actually an elf on the shelf mini bottle with a message in it or message in a bottle, I think that's what it was called. But I thought this was so much better because it is 25 Elf report cards and also a post box. So it means that you can actually pose as the Elf, <laughs> say whether your child has been good or naughty, or naughty or nice, and basically say on it what they've been up to. So if they've had a really, really naughty day, you could say, Ella Reed <laughs> has been caught being naughty or nice, can you even see this? Naughty or nice. And then your elf watched you and then you could see what the naughty thing is that they did. And then read it out as if the elf's been watching them. I think this will be so good for behaviour. And then there's also this little elf box. I think you can just open it up every day and see if a letter has been left in it. But yeah, I thought this was really, really good for behaviour and also so you can have little notes that the elf is sending to your children. Again, really really popular they will go so fast so make sure you get them really soon and still on christmas related stuff i am really excited to get these because last year fraser and i were going to get some but they were actually quite expensive and we thought you know what they're not worth it but they were a pound so i thought get three <laughs> and it's these christmas bags they're these kind of canvas sacks this one says special delivery merry christmas do not open until the 25th of december and i just think these are so nice they are very very pinterest poundland are picking up on all the big trends at the minute so yeah this is really good i think it'll be good for putting in big toys so you can just put it in like that 
pull the drawstring and they'll also look so nice under the Christmas tree. Plus my kind of theme this year is going to be the brown paper again, the same as I did last year, with a kind of bit of a glam edge. I picked up some mistletoe pieces in my last Poundland haul. So yeah, I'm going to use them, but also use the canvas sacks as well. So I got two of these ones. And I also got a bigger kind of like more looser knit if that's the thing looser weave maybe <laughs> canvas sack and it is a huge big one and this one is more like a kind of like postage stamp style and it says happy christmas santa mail reindeer express and then in the bottom of it here it says special overnight delivery for and you can actually put your child's name on it with like a marker or like a sharpie and then it just says again do not open until the 25th of december if undelivered, please return to Santa's Workshop North Pole. I just thought that was really lovely. And as you can see, it is really quite big. So these would be great ideas, especially for taking presents to relatives' houses on Christmas Day. I normally find that Fraser and I end up using like big gift bags, but it's actually easier to use something that's more kind of soft and is a bit more given in it like this. So I think once we've given the kids their presents, we'll pop all the ones for the family members in these and then pop them into the car. Plus how good is that going to look when we turn up on Christmas Day with big bags over our backs going in with the presents. I just think they are so nice and again, obviously just a pound. And while we are on Christmas related items, I thought I would show you some of the things I picked up for my friends coming over tonight for a cuppa and it is these festive Mr Kipling Bakewells. I just thought they were really nice. They just taste the exact same probably, except they have got kind of Christmassy hundreds and thousands on top. So they're gorgeous. I love Mr Kipling cakes. So yeah, I'm going to have too many of those probably. And they also had the mince pie ones. I like mince pies, but I know a lot of people don't. So I never got them. Kind of wish I did now. But they look really nice. And again, Mr Kipling's, I got some of these and it's six gingerbread world. I love a beanie as well. They're one of my favourite cup of tea accompaniments. So this one is a gingerbread one and thought they looked really nice, very festive and again on the back here it does say you can get merry mince pies. You can also get mince pies that have got icing on top. I really should have got the mince pies, shouldn't I? These look really good. So then with a cuppa will be delightful. And I also got these Thornton's chocolate caramel wafer rolls. There are how many in the pack? I don't know because I don't count, but there are quite a few in the pack. It's literally just little like finger rolls, but these are good with a cup of coffee. See when you just want that little chocolate fix, these are so good, but they are definitely addictive. Like one leads to another and another and another. But they are Thornton's chocolate, which is amazing. And I love these. They are so nice. A cup of tea or a coffee and one of those on the side always looks very impressive when you've got guests around. So I love them. And the last thing I almost missed this out was this. And I did see it on my friend Kate Mermaine's channel and it's this phone tripod stand. I don't know how good it's going to be if it's like flimsy or what, but I thought this would be ideal for Instagram Live because I'm always kind of like holding my phone and trying to deal with the kids at the one time. So I thought if I could get a tripod stand, that would be a much better idea. And I don't want to get like my full tripod out with my phone adapter. I use that if I'm doing Facebook Live for like Channel Mum. But this is just such a good idea. So I thought I'll get this, it's a pound. If it doesn't work, then it's all my pound. But it can actually move to the side so that I can put my phone on it. I'm hoping that the weight of the phone doesn't knock it over. In fact, shall we try it just now? Oh my goodness, right, I'm not taking the taggy bits off. I'm just gonna take off the paper bit. Oh God, it extends, it actually extends. No, it falls over. It falls over, it's a waste of money. I don't know if I can like, I think you can have it like that. Which is good if the kids are watching TV or watching YouTube like on your phone. But I need it to do that and stay still. Oh wait! Oh wait, it does. It stays still. Yay! <laughs> it actually works. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my Poundland haul and all the bits that I got. Please let me know what you like best in the comments. And as always, if you are new, I would love if you stuck around for more videos in the future by just hitting the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.